Hello everybody, it's Murialda here once again, and welcome back to another figure unboxing! Woo! Yes, figure unboxings! Yay! So, yesterday, I got this itch. You know the itch. The itch of, I want to buy a figure. You see, in two days, it's the 4th of July. And you know, we get the, being American, we get the day off of work, we blow up small chunks of the country to celebrate. And then I'm taking a couple days of vacation after that, too. And I just, I wanted another figure. So, I bought another figure just because I wanted another figure. Don't do as I do, do as I say. You should never buy a figure just because you want the figure. Just because you want to buy a figure. You should buy a figure because you want the figure, you like the figure. So, luckily, I did follow that rule, at least. Uh, I do have Yamashiro on order, and she shipped... I think she's going to be here tomorrow, but I didn't know, so I got to figure. And I got it from Amazon, so I got it next day shipping, which surprised me. And as we can see, we have a noir. This is another noir. <laughs> so let's get her open and everything so we can see her. So there is the shipping box. It's not overly huge or anything. I won't show you the top since all my addresses and names and everything are on there. But let's get it open. And this figure I have been thinking about for quite a while. She's been in and out of my cart, in and out of my watch list and everything. So finally, I, I finally just decided to get her. And it worked out. So Amazon put very minimal shipping inside this box. But luckily, Broccoli gives us extra padding and everything. So there is a little bit of bubble bubbles in there. But, yeah, it's a broccoli figure, so it's got a cardboard shipping box already. So, nothing super exciting about it. It's a standard one. It's got the Neptunia logo and the nightgown version and everything. So, let's get her out. Um, a lot of people will probably say never buy anything from Amazon because you don't know if it's a bootleg or whatever. My experience is... If you buy a figure that is sold by Amazon, or the fulfillment is by Amazon, you're almost guaranteed it's legitimate. This one is legitimate. Come on. Come on. There we go. There she is. In some outer plastic. So we'll go ahead and get that outer plastic off. Broccoli does a very good job of at least protecting their figures when they ship it out to you. And they are usually pretty good quality figures, too. So there she is. Uh, I did ask for opinions on if I should buy her or not yesterday on the Discord channel. And a lot of people's opinions were kind of meh. They didn't really... They basically said she's cute but she's boring so I like her I got her so suck it but yeah this is Noir uh, the best non-goddess in the Neptunia series well I mean she is a goddess but non-transformed uh, this is her nightgown version she's sleepy uh, she is from Hyperdimension Neptunia this one's Shojigen game Neptune the animation whatever all the same universe she is a 1 8 scale figure manufactured by Broccoli same as this one, but I think she's bigger. Uh, so, Noir was released back on February 20th of 2019. I ordered her July 1st of 2019 at 6.32 p.m. And she was delivered to my door on July 2nd at 2.38 p.m. Less than 24-hour shipping. Woohoo! Yes! And it's free! <laughs> uh, and I paid for Noir... $136.74, which I did check like the Japanese stores, and it's a comparable price. Actually, it was the lowest price. And to top it all off, I used some credit card reward points and knocked 50 bucks off of that, so under $100. Yay! So anyways, there is the front of her box. There is the side of her box. There's the back, with an indication of... The main reason I bought her, yes, she's got very nice boobs. There is the other side of the box. There is the top of Noir's box. And 
the bottom. So yay, let's get her open. Uh, so it looks like just one seal. Come on, come on. Come on, there we go. I don't know why boxes are so difficult to open. <laughs> so the inside is kind of boring. Circles, stars, patterns, all that good stuff. There is some smelly, smelly plastic smell. Uh, if you can read Japanese, it's probably the don't lick this figure, don't throw this figure, don't eat this figure, don't... Basically, don't uh, do anything naughty with this figure. But there is Noir in her blister packaging. She looks quite cute. And I'm going to say yes, size-wise is definitely a 1 8 scale. So don't be expecting her to be massive because she's not massive. Broccoli did a very good job having a compact box. So shipping wouldn't be horrible. But can't beat that next day shipping. So let's get her open. How many times have I said let's get her open? So there's that. Pop the blister. And we'll look at her base. So her base is a fluffy base, but not overly fluffy. It's kind of firm. So it's not like super padded, but it is fluffy. And she does have two metal pegs that she stands on. This one's bigger, this one's smaller. And it's like a purplish color, like lavender. So, I mean, it's a base. Not super exciting, not super boring or anything. And then we have Noir. It's a nice, easy to assemble figure. Nice, easy to unpack figure. She is quite a weighty figure. So there's plastic around her arm, plastic around her two twin tails, and that's the plastic. And she will stand on her own, but she is kind of offset some, so I wouldn't leave her like this because you see just a little tap and she falls over. So yay. So there is Noir's nice sleepy sleepy face. Yep, she just woke up. Uh, there's a little bit of crud on her hair. It looked almost like a paint chip, but it was just a little bit of dust. There's a beautiful cleavage and a very, very nice gap. So I've always, always talk about strap gaps, and I've come to realize it's not just strap gaps. Basically, any gap with the clothing. I mean, even the over there, the gap under her armpit. Stuff where you can see around the body, see the curves. It's not like a straight line. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, her sleeve is falling off of her right shoulder. It's fully on the left one. Uh, she's got the ribbon. It's come loose. It's very untied. There is nice sculpting and shading on the dress, all the wrinkles and everything. Uh, fingers sculpted pretty nicely up there. I mean, they're one piece, but you can tell they're all meant to be individual, and all the nails are painted, and you can see, like, knuckles and everything. Uh, other hand, she is holding her pillow. So again, fingers are all one piece, except for the thumb, but they are sculpted very well, and you can tell they're meant to be fingers. They're all different lengths. They're not just a blob. Uh, her hair, so she has black hair, but... And the figure, it's a very dark blue, like navy blue, maybe even darker. It's basically the same color as her nightgown. But yeah, and she has very, very long, beautiful, luscious legs. She is wearing some, you know, very innocent white panties. Yes, the answer to the important question is white. She is tripping over some doggo plushies. They are pink. He is looking up a bit, but not getting quite the good, quite the view that uh, the Neptune figure would get. Uh, she is wearing some very, not to my preference, little slippers, like sock slippers. And on this foot, you can see it is coming off. Basically just held on by her toes. So unfortunately, we don't get to see toes, but 
you can see the indication of them through the slipper a little bit. Uh, paint wise, pillow, nice and pink and shaded and wrinkled and everything. It's quite hard, not fluffy. Uh, it's got very nicely sculpted back. You can see her ears back there. Um, yeah, paint wise, like I was saying, lots of shading all over the place. Very, very well done. Uh, and I don't see any flaws. No, no like paint flaws. Not even on the little doggo tails. Uh, back so the knees are sculpted nicely and she got the booty. Yes, she got the booty. So let's uh, go ahead and get her on the base. Uh, looking at the bottom, we do see the big hole on this side, small hole on that side. So like this. And in and squeeze and she snaps on into place. And there she is assembled. Bring her a little closer, tilt the camera down, and we'll do a nice spin around. So, I can get it. Yes, it's not the most exciting figure. It's not meant to be the most exciting figure. She is very well done. She is cute. Noir best non-goddess, non-CPU form. And yeah, just very, very beautiful. And like I said, Broccoli did an excellent job, very well worth the money, and she is definitely fits the 1 8th scale. So let's uh, bring the other 1 8th Noir up. And I always thought this one was, like, felt small to me. And yeah, she, she's felt like a 1 9th, and you can see the size comparison. So Broccoli has improved their scaling, in my opinion. Obviously, you, you can obviously tell they are the same character. And yeah, just beautiful, 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 beautiful. And then, uh, like, the angle that really got me is, like, this angle. Look, look at that cleavage. Look at that little armpit gap. Look at the gap between the cleavage. And even the gap on the other side where the dress is. Gotta love the clothing gaps. Yes. So anyways, this is Noir, the nightgown version of her. She is from Hyperdimension Neptunia, the universe, uh, Shoujigen game, Neptune, the animation, whatever. Uh, she is a 1 8 scale figure manufactured by Broccoli. And Noir was released on uh, February 20th of 2019. I ordered her July 1st from Amazon. Got her next day shipping. And yeah, $136.74. Some people might bulk at the, that price. I did for a while too, but like I said, I got that itch. I had to have a figure and I got Noir. Plus, I had the credit card reward points, so she was even cheaper. So it worked out for me. Uh, I'm guessing tomorrow I will have y Yamashiro, but that is a video for another day. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. I'm out. Bye-bye.